Hello, welcome again to the Three Wise Men Couldn't Make It podcast. The podcast where three wise men do not give you opinions. Three idiots give you opinions on what we have been discussing this week. Uh, we will throw opinions at you like a chimpanzee throws shit at a wall. You can take it or leave it, but you're going to be covered in shit either way. Um, <clears throat> so we've got a thick, creamy, white, gooey cup of content for you today. It's a thick cream of content. Uh, it's it's all going to be about gigs and festivals. What we've experienced at gigs and festivals and the advice we can give you on how not to experience what we've experienced at gigs and festivals. We've also got some hot, hot news and uh, frankly, uh, uh, if I can just interject here, uh, Carl, we've had some complaints. Oh, no. Uh, we've had some feedback on your... Uh, social media, um, the opinions you were expressing last week about uh, Mother Teresa, Donald Trump, Brexit, etc. Uh, it's not gone down well, so we're going to have to circle round to this. Um, what we're going to do, I'm going to give you Carl's full email now. It's carl. <laughs> at orgyfart.com. So please feel free to send any, any opinions you may have that... Dis- yeah, they, they may disagree with his opinions on how hot Mother Teresa was to that email address. Um, moving on, so we will go on to now the hot, hot news. Hot, hot, hot news! Hot, hot news hitting in your face like a big bag of penises. Carl, have you got any hot news? <laughs> of course I have hot news. What a stupid question. Ready for this? Because I've, I've got the juice. Too good to miss. I've got the juice this week. Yep. So, last week, uh, I know you guys aren't interested in, in sports, but I did oh mention... Christ I was. Almighty, didn't we do this last week? No, well, no, I told you that I was going to the game and I was very excited, weren't I? Yeah. Um, so, I have been to the game now and I had an amazing time. It's been many years since I went, but I, I was a bit sceptical about going on my own. Not that I was scared about going on my own. But you were scared. But you, you were scared. Well, well, no, I was, it's more like there's a lot of people... Like this, like tens of thousands of people. Tens like of people. Tens, tens can, of thousands of people. Can we people clarify around. what game this is? This yes. is the oh. Tiddlywinks. No, or... this this was the Liverpool Burnley game. Um, so went on my own. Uh, one of my friends' friends kindly let me have his ticket, which I really do appreciate. Um, but you know when just people say like, Cheers, oh, mate. People say, um, oh, I'm like, listen to this shit. Humani- <laughs> you know when people say like, oh, humanity is gone nowadays, where everyone's rude and there's always people. Being knobheads and you know, but sometimes you occasionally. No, 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 I agree with some, you. Sometimes yeah. you you occasionally find you know just a really down to earth nice person. Yeah. Diamond uh, in the rough, yeah. kind of thing. Mm. So I was a bit unsure how to get to Anfield, so I had to get t- t- like three different trains to finally get there. But I finally got there, and the guy, the conductor on the train, said, um, "This like something called the soccer bus, what will take you straight to the ground, so you haven't got to yep. walk like half an hour." And I was like, okay, I didn't have a clue where I was going. And I I saw a load of buses, I saw some queues, and I just said to this old guy who's queuing, I said, is this the bus to go to the game? And he's like, yeah. So he's like, do you want me to show you around? Have you been to a game before? And I have been to games before, but it's been many years. So he was just a dead sweet guy. He showed me me all the memorials that have been painted over the years, like uh, the Paddy Pimlet and, you know, Meatball Molly. I mean, I'd tell him where to fucking go, like myself, but... (laughs) I swear, ever since, so there you go. At any point did he ask you to look at his penis? <laughs> not this time. It's happened before, but not this time. But he really... Just check him. He was a s- sweet guy. He showed me around. He, showed me memorials. He was like, was really uh, cool. yeah, yeah. He, he was like, uh, are you hungry or anything? I was like, yeah, I could eat, because I can always eat. He's like, do you like a pie? I was like, I fucking love a pie. Love a pie. Uh, at that point, did he take out his penis? No. Not, the, not yet. <laughs> um, but uh, So he took me to this pie place. I had to buy him a cup of tea because I, he was dead sweet and he showed me how to get into the game. And uh, I was dead concerned about mm. everything going on. I got a bit overwhelmed because it's a, a lot of people and as much as we've just been to like, places with a lot of people, I was, for some reason, I, did you ever, did you ever get nervous where you say, I've got a ticket for something? But you're nervous about getting in for something, or you know, you know, like yeah, if you've got some ticket, or, wouldn't work. Yeah, or you yeah. know, just yes. like worried about over something that would never happen. Yes, like going to like, I don't know, like going to a camping spot and like there being no spaces, even though you reserved your space. You know, you know, you know something really daft yeah. that you're making up in your mind. Like going on a plane and waiting forty five <clears throat> hours before the actual flight. Yeah, 
Even though you got your ticket and you're going to get on the plane. Yeah, someone sitting in your seat. Previous reference there, Carl. Was it? Yeah, to you. Oh, I had a bit too much to drink <laughs> for that podcast, I reckon. But yeah, I got in there, I sat down in my seat, I, and I just took it in. I got, I was so happy. And um, so the game started to start and the, and the people started to fill in. But at the moment, in football games, and especially in the Premier League, there's been a lot of issues with, like, you know, die-hard fans complaining about the tourist, tourism side of football. Oh, yeah. So, like, you know, people travelling from different countries to come to the games, and that's not that's not an issue. But what an issue is, and I've not seen it before, but this was just a perfect example. So where I was sat, it was all season ticket holders. People go every week. And the old guy must have been about 70, 80, that was next to me, and he's been going since 1996 every game in the same seat and four seats behind me has he there was, moved? Uh, uh, no he just lives there <laughs> he just lives there um, but uh, there was uh, four Chinese people behind us and um, they must have they must have flew in travelling yep. to come see the game and uh, there was three children and the mum I can only assume the three kids through the whole game were on their phones bearing in mind this is in the is in the cop, which is incredibly hard to get into, first of all. And second of all, if you do get in, it's incredibly expensive. And normally, yeah. the people that do get in uh, are gifted season tickets, okay. you know, like someone who has a ticket already and they give you it. So, what was really annoying is the people behind us were sleeping and on their phones, and it annoyed a lot of people, very passionate people who go to the games. Bear in mind, some of these people, the football it's is their life. For me, yeah. Football is their life. Yep. They dedicate their lives. They ignore having families. They ignore doing anything. Football is everything they do. So uh, they ignore having families? That's Is that good? If you love football that much, yeah. It's it's not, though, is it? Well, also, the, these people... These people... These well, people I, who are sleeping through the game... What, what race were these people? Well, they, I can only assume they were from Asian descent. Uh, right, OK. So, anyone... Uh, folks, um, Carl's got another website. So it's called Carl I Heart Racism. <laughs> 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 orgyfart.co.uk can you please add any comments to that website not this one Carl um, anything else you'd like to say about your anti-Asian uh, stance apart from that uh, yeah so I enjoyed the game I was talking to people around it, and if I felt home even though I've not been there in years it was a great experience I know you guys aren't really that interested in football but I had to say I had such a great time and you know well, I'm interested in football just not Liverpool <laughs> but uh, but some you know when you're we saying, are taking sponsors from Liverpool's football club by the way well we'll take their money won't we yeah yeah um, but you, just, you know some places where you go where you just feel like you're at home like yeah, at home yeah yeah. Oh, yeah, I was at home. I was at home game, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I just thought I'd tell you, so I had a great time. I met some really nice people, and I just came home just with a massive smile on my face. I oh, have an old man's scarf. Yep. <laughs> yep. So that was uh, that was it. That was uh, the football. Um, well, so, oh, uh, nerdy stuff. We love nerdy stuff, don't we, Pete? So I'm still on the covered in spunk. Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic Four reveal. Yeah, good. Pedro Pascal. Daddy Pedro's back. Yeah. Three-time daddy. Fantastic. He's three-time daddy now and he's got no actual kids of his own. But, <clears throat> uh, yeah. Happy with it. I don't know the other actors. Uh, uh, there's a guy from Stranger Things. Mm. Joseph some Joseph Quinn is dude his name. from the bear. I don't um, know. I don't some know some people are happy with the casting. I don't care. I'm, whatever. Well, as long as they're notoriously good at casting. Yeah. Um, same, bringing up about Daddy Pedro, when it was that download... We were walking to find our spot and we walked past someone. You know when they create like blankets and banners and they put yes. stuff on it? Someone had a big Pedro Pascal picture saying, This is my daddy or something. No way. Something like, it was great. <laughs> it just made me howl laughing. Uh, so we had the Fantastic Four. He's my De- favourite daddy. Deadpool trailer. Yeah, Pete, amazing. What'd you think about it? I thought I had the first mention of Peggin in a Disney movie. Which is what? right up your alley, isn't it? Yeah, oh, I love it. Literally. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I can't well, wait. Well, well, let's not get back to your weekend with your old fella. Um, I'm looking forward to that movie. Oh, I'm so excited. It's been ages since I've been properly excited for a good Marvel film. Uh, and we watched Deadpool 1 and 2 this I, weekend. I watched it. Still hold up. I watched funny. I actually... Very, very funny. I actually watched the first one this morning. Yeah, I just, man. for some reason, I just wanted to watch Deadpool again so badly. It's a great film. I can't wait for it, man. Have you ever watched Deadpool, Rich? I watched half of it and then you're gonna hate me. You're not an action movie guy, are you? I am and I'm not. Oh, you gotta watch through it. And it started off. I loved the start. It was amazing with the bike and all that and the crash and he's yeah, that's that was unreal. And I was like, yes, this is this looks fantastic. You've got to watch it. More I watched it, the less interesting I got. (laughs) (laughs) I don't know. The first one, the first film's quite a sad film, isn't it? Really? Can we get him out? 
Get him out, yeah. I don't like this. <laughs> Should we fuck him off? Why am I holding my hand to my face when I do this? Uh, so, Deadpool trailer, can't wait yeah, for amazing. it. Amazing. Uh, Happy days. You love a bit of Wolf. Oh, love a bit of Wolvie, don't you? Yeah. My first tattoo was Wolverine. Is he your favourite Marvel character, would you say? Yes. Second. 100%. Second close. Any close? Anyone close Spidey, to Deadpool? Spidey, maybe. Love a bit of Spidey. I love Spidey, a bit of Venom. Ah. Oh. So Deadpool trailer uh, also came out this week, and uh, yeah, and, and the last thing on my end um, for hot news, hot hot news, um, hot, hot so, news. So it was my sister's birthday the other day, but the day before, um, well, no, it was actually a few days after, the day after she was going out in Chester. But I get so confused. Um, <laughs> it's <laughs> oh oh, so my sister's called Leah. And then your daughter's called Leah. There's yeah. too many layers. Too many layers. There are too many layers, nothing about. And lots of Peters. But uh, oh, there is lots of Peters. Lots of Peters. Um, so we went uh, bowling, um, and we went laser tag, and then we had some food, and then went into the karaoke room. So where I work, there's a new karaoke room, and I've not been there yet, but we went there for the fir- first time. We sang loads of cheesy songs, uh, not songs I normally listen to. That's Because I listen to all the, the metal stuff, but yeah. you've got to love a cheesy song. Yeah, bit, of, bit of JLS. Oh, come on, you can't beat of old school JLS, can you? beat some old school JLS, yeah. It was great, and Dan, uh, Dan sang a uh, bit of Madness, which I know you love Madness, love don't Madness. you? Go my go first favourite band. And I, you know what, I, like, I've, I've not met Dan properly yet, but he is a lovely guy. I'm not saying this because he's a massive fan of the podcast. He's got a nice scarf. Is he fit? <laughs> the old. How old is he? <laughs> no, good looking Are you man. He's, he's a good looking man. Your teeth right now. <laughs> no, not quite yet. I was the other night. I had a bit. I had a bit too much to drink on that. To be fair, that night. Yeah. Was drunk karaoke. Cut Here's that the out. Best, though. Cut that out, please. Um, but yeah, I had a great night. It was just nice to spend some time with my sister yeah. and I'm finally meeting a fella. No, she's sad. And uh, oh, we just had a great night. You know where you just come home pissed and you go, that was actually really fun. Yeah. And I was, I was just dead you're brushing your teeth. And I then I had a drunk pizza, which you can't beat. That tops off the night. And that's my hot news this week. Hot news. Hot, hot news. news. Rich. Hot news coming hot at you news. like a big dead pig. Oh, well, my hot news is like say it's it's a bit weird because it's not really hot news, but it's it's just stuff news, that's mate. happened to me. It's it's news and it's that's what makes it hot that's what news. Makes it hot. And my first little bit of hot news was um, I said come home from work the other day, right and. I was, I'm always tired when I come home from work, absolutely knackered. So I always sit on the old sofa, get the pin, get up, zzz, your legs go up slowly. Yeah. Slowly. Fall, and I just fell asleep straight away. Oh, so that. this is your hot news? This is my hot news. How posh is very news. exciting, is it really? Let's be honest. How posh is he with his automatic to, seat? Never, never move past that yeah, Automatic seat. This hot news is a kit. They don't just <laughs> fling up, they like slow, slowly lift your legs oh, up. That's too, but no, then if somebody knocks that, on the door, so. you, you, you're like, <laughs> I'm coming! And it takes about five minutes. You can't, you can't get angry in them and telling the kids off. Nah, ah, you have you're going. Wait till I get you. Wait till in I get you when my legs come down and touch the floor. <laughs> and I go, you better be in your I've room. I've got all my dignity intact when I get you. But by the time you get your legs down, you've calmed down. So you yeah. just put them straight back up again. Yeah. <laughs> Life lessons there. We'll, yeah, we'll exactly. move on to that one in a later podcast. Uh, parenting. Yeah, so, and then you've got round to me. Hot news, yeah. But well, I thought it was the hot news. Was, I'd fell asleep. And my daughter, uh, Leah, and Laura, my wife, are sitting on the sofa watching the telly, looking, I'm sideways to them, so they're looking across. And the next minute, and I remember doing this, I woke up, woke myself up, I heat in a Dorito, and I was proper, my arm in the air. <laughs> I like I had, it was like I had two cherries and I dipped them in yoghurt, and I was like... <laughs> <laughs> like a Roman emperor. Oh, yeah, like a Roman emperor. And the noise, I heard the noise. Dum, 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 dum. Wait, wait, wait. You were I sleeping. I woke myself up. You... I was sleeping. I was eating in my sleep something like a Dorito or something. And you were going, um, and, nom, 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 proper, nom, 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 And I was, I was acting it out, basically. This bears further question. And I woke myself up. Is this how you eat a Dorito anyway? That is how Because that's <laughs> weird, by the way. <laughs> yeah, and uh, when I looked over, they were pissing themselves laughing. I'm not surprised. And I said, what the fuck just happened? And they were like, you've just been eating in your sleep eating or something. Yeah. But what are you eating? I don't know. I think it was a Dorito. But yeah. I love the fact so, that you woke yourself up going, I woke myself up. I hated myself. I actually woke myself up as I was doing so it. so weird. Did you get a craving for Doritos afterwards? No. I don't like Doritos. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to say he's filled up with them. He's had loads in his kit. Oh. stuffed. It was, yeah. Um, so. I have done that. I, 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 uh, I was asleep the other week and I woke up and saw my hand approaching my face because it had been in the air 
And you so, shit yourself. And I hit myself in the face. Oh. <laughs> I'm not even joking. I've never done it before. Oh. I've done weird shit in my sleep. Like, but... so, so when I, when I was in high school, um, I, I had like a... Five minutes ago. <laughs> uh, yeah. So I had a bunk bed, but without the bunk bed underneath it. You had a bunk bed, well, you're I, adorable. I, no, no, it was like a bunk bed, but, the, but without the bed underneath it. So it wasn't so a bunk bed. Like, well, no, well, so it was, it was bed. just a high you bed. Had, you had a high you bed. Had a high bed. But you could, fit, you could fit loads of shit underneath it. Was there space for activities? There was so much room for activities. Awesome. and um, But the, my bed frame was made out of wood, and I don't know why... But for years, in my sleep, I used to lean my head over the banister and chew the wood. What? Yeah. Or like a... Squ- like oh, you're a, a fucking like a... gopher. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and beaver. I, I, a beaver. The first, That's what I was fashioning a dam. The first time I noticed it, I didn't wake myself up doing it, but I, I was getting into bed and I was like, why is my bed all scratched up? So I was like, oh, I don't know, I don't know. It, it could have been Leah. I don't know. And the next morning, there was more... But why, like, why is Rich's daughter in your house? Not his daughter, my sister. You and why have you got wood in your mouth? I love wood in my mouth. <laughs> well, that was the fucking thing. It was the obvious, wasn't it? Um, yeah. But yeah, I used to chew all the wood and I'd wake up with bits of wood in my teeth. Yeah, pa- past life you were a woodworm or something like that. Yeah. Or a, well, you're, that just, you're just a fucking weirdo. I completely I forgot about that. Yeah, that's yeah. what I used to do. That's, that's so weird. weird. I, I mean, that is... Proper weird. I've no idea why I did it. I mean, people gnash their teeth and stuff in this. Well, thing, oh, I, I used lots of ticks when I was a kid. I used to shake yeah. my head all. I had, I had a fringe then when I had hair, and I constantly just doing a flick really? of my head because I'd seen a woman in Littlewoods. Do you remember Littlewoods? I do remember Shot Littlewoods. Shotgun, you won't remember it. No, I remember. Did we, remember have, we, we, we had a Littlewoods in, in, where we, we lived, had, didn't we? I'm sure we did. It was a little Was that Woolworths? Um, we had, we had both. both. We had we both. Had a, yeah, we did actually. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. We're, but we're I remember that, that was both. when I was a kid. Yeah. yeah. And I seen the woman on the till. She flicked her hair. And I constantly, I couldn't stop flicking my hair then. I was flicking Isn't my hair. How you like, picked yeah. that up and like, did t- it? it. What, took, what like stopped fringes? that one? What stopped me doing it was that with my hand. I, saw, I used to flick my hand, like flick my wrist constantly and then stop and then flick it again. I had so many ticks as a kid growing up. Do you know what I do? That it's is strange. That is very, yeah, interesting. I yeah. don't know if it's a tick, but so my job, I work behind a bar, and whenever people like put orders through, so they say, "Can I have two Budweiser and a, and a Stella or whatever?" When I'm when I get confused, I kind of like twitch my head to the side, all the time, like confused, but... like when I'm trying to figure something out, kind of just twitch my head. Everyone's I, got something. I don't know what it is. Yeah. I always hold my head to the. Do you know what I do in the shower? Um, no, you find this really know, weird. Just... Apart from touch yourself. Um, <laughs> Get an you'll... old fella from Liverpool to come in and wrap you in his scarf. Do you know what I do? And I Pat don't know why I don't do it. And I've tr- <laughs> With I've, his scarf. I've tried not to do this, but I can't. So when I'm in the shower, I put, my, I put my hands on my chest like this. like So, like, I put... Two, I put cross, like, cross, well, can you describe... I, yeah, I, the, I, uh, so I, I, I put my right hand on my left hand's palm like a... Like a like a love heart shape, and then I put it over my left shoulder. So when I'm in the shower, I'm constantly holding my shoulder when I'm showering, and then when I need to put some shower gel, I'll put it in. I'll put it in, and I'll rub my body. But whenever I'm not turned on, yeah. But whenever Uh, whenever I I don't, whenever I'm not like putting any soap on my body, I I have to put my hands on my left shoulder. Why? Well, maybe. Don't know next why. Next time you have a show, I always come and I could put my hands on your left shoulder, and we'll all come and we'll have a <laughs> we'll have a podcast from the shower. <laughs> that would be yeah, very that would good. Be. Well, you know, you know, fit in our show, it's going to be hard, but I'll, I'm sure we can figure yeah. something out. We'll figure something out. Uh, Rich, any other hot news apart from eat sleeping? I eat, eat sleeping. I, um, I had a fall at work. I've reached the age. I say I'm fifty three now, and you, when you reach a certain age, you don't fall over. You have a fall. Yeah, when you have a fall, Carl, you, you have bounce a fall. up. You don't, yeah. Oh, like your, like your whole body goes at you once. You can't, yeah, and you can't do anything about it. You just go. And you're constantly thinking in your head, ah, oh, no, yeah. I'm going to hurt, this is really going to hurt. <laughs> yeah, so... I'm paralysed. <laughs> well, I was at work, leaning down to look at this number on this box, and it was in the side, against the shelf. And the more I'm having very focals, there's three different lenses in these glasses. Mm. You have to look down like a school teacher, basically... Like, yeah, like this yeah, to the see. current Mrs Harper has very And you, you, you know your tongue's out and everything, you're like... Yeah. <laughs> you don't have I, to put your tongue out, by you the can, way. Nobody can see my tongue coming out. Yeah. Anyway, I couldn't see the number properly, and I went back on what I thought was, like, a wall. I don't know why I thought there was a yeah. wall, because I was in the middle of the stores, yeah. and it was just a big, huge cardboard box with nothing in it, which give way. And I, t- I just went backwards, <laughs> flying backwards, and landed the forks of the... There's a stacker behind me, a stack <laughs> of truck. I landed on the forks of the stacker truck, which were about... <laughs> A foot off the floor, so I'm draped over the, the forks, hit my arm into the 
concrete <laughs> on my funny, front, right on my funny bone. So I'm like screaming, ah, my fucking arm, like you do. And then uh, looked around, as obviously nobody looked. Yeah, you, as a younger, you just jump straight back up, don't you? Yeah, like, oh, no, uh, no. no one see me. Shit. Yeah, I, I uh, rolled, okay, kind of rolled, fine. rolled onto my side, put my arms on, get myself up slowly, get, basically using the stacker to get myself up. I should have just pulled the lever. And go, but yeah. how, how are you feeling now? Are you feeling better? I'm fair, I'm much better now. Yeah, how was, long were you there on the floor? Because like, oh, I'd have been there for like yeah, at probably, least 15 minutes. Oh, yeah, it was a good minute. Yeah. Yeah, Don't imagine, good minute. you know, Family Guy, when Peter oh, falls over, he goes, ah. <laughs> Ah, yeah. <laughs> there's, a, there's a bloke at our work called I'm not going to give his name, but he does. He just reminded me. <coughs> he's he makes a stereotypical noise for everything that he does. All right, when he drinks it, his tea, he, when he drinks his tea, he goes. <sighs> he does honestly. Annoying. He goes. <sighs> if he moves, he's, he goes. Oh, oh. Everything he does... That guy's an alien. He's mad. He's, like, pretending to be a yeah. human and he's picked up all the mannerisms. Every manner... It's like he's, yeah. um... He, he's, he's got to be... You've got to. You've got yeah. to make a noise for every movement he does. It was a can and he's just... It's like bur- biggest burp you can imagine. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And then he, he'll start his butty. Mmm. <laughs> no, he doesn't. <laughs> he does. Honestly, no, he doesn't. No, he does. Before every bite. Mmm. Mm. Yeah, Is he a muppet? He's mad. <laughs> he's a very, very old fella, like... What? Yeah. <laughs> what if he doesn't like it? <laughs> Has he ever done that? <laughs> <laughs> you've got you've got you've got to test the boundaries here. You got you yeah. got to set something up I'm and go. Set up, yeah. and, and you got to get a few of the lines to go. You know, uh, you ever seen The Office? Yeah. Where um, they're all betting on uh, oh, about the American one. Have you seen the American one? No. Oh, you know, I seen seen it. you know when they're all <laughs> placing bets on what people would do. I reckon that's what you do, where you set something up like a prop, oh, yeah. and you all chip in a fiver or whatever, and you guess what noise he's going to make. Yeah. I reckon it'd be pretty fun to do him in the bollocks. I'll record, yeah. I'll record it. Ooh. <laughs> ouch. Yeah, that's what you do. Go, ouch. Oh. Ouch. Ouch. Yeah, yeah, ouch. He wouldn't say ouch. Yeah. He wouldn't go, oh, he'd go, ouch. Yeah. Or feed him like something sp- horrible. How it spelled is, is how he'd say it. Yeah. And go, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he's a cartoon. Yeah. No one yeah. goes, Yeah, mm. the cartoon, that's exactly something like he eats his dinner. Yum. He's like a cartoon, yeah. Oh, what a weirdo. Oh, when he, if he runs, he goes... No, he doesn't. And then he like, off. Like road runner. Like road runner. Meep, meep. Meep, meep. <laughs> Andale, andale. You can't do that. Sorry, that's probably racist now. Yeah. Um, that is hot news. That that's hot, hot, news. hot news. This is why we love the Rich hot... crippled himself. Crippled this is himself why we and, love the hot, hot ghost. news segment. Dorito. Just things that happen in day-to-day life. Yeah, exactly. Like imagining you eating something or falling over. Or both. Or both, yeah. And... Um, and Pete's there uh, making the noises for me as I fell over. Yeah. Ah! Oh, my back. Oh. <laughs> Pete, oh. any hot news? Uh, not much, really. Uh, well, actually, yeah, I have. That was a total lie. Um, <clears throat> so I was away for two days this week. And as an older man in his late 20s, it's difficult when you go out to two gigs. Wait, you're in your late 20s? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. I'm almost certain. I think uh, they're lying. Sure. Uh, so I went to watch uh, Enter Shikari, the mighty Enter Shikari, and Bowling for Soup, who are as bad as different a bands as you can get. I love Bowling they for Soup. They are extraordinarily different bands. Oh, um, fantastic, by the way. Um, go on, sorry, what? Sorry, uh, you know, before we were talking off air about this, Rich, you said you're not too familiar with Bowling for Soup. Um, I've heard of them, have you seen fin- Have you seen Phineas and Ferb? No. You've never seen Phineas and Ferb? No. You know the intro goes, there's 104 days of summer vacation. That one? No. Oh, well, don't mind then. Right, <laughs> carry on. Cut that out, that fell dead. Right. Um, <clears throat> well, I was away with me, a uh, very good mate, Will, known for 30 years. The man is very, very If you're only 25, how can you have known him for 30 years? Look, I'm not taking questions at the moment, bitch. <laughs> right, OK, I'll back I'm off. not taking questions, mate. I'll back in my corner. Just, it's fine. Don't worry about <laughs> it. The math adds up. So, um... Yeah, so he's ordered uh, a brace of horror books off eBay. Now, these aren't your normal horror books. This isn't your J- um, James Herbert or uh, Dean Koontz. This is what what you would call extreme horror. What's extreme horror? Uh, it's your stuff like... You, uh, you, you generally can't... Get it on your Amazons and your Netflix. Or like your black market stuff. No, it's not black market. <laughs> you can get it on that... You can, I don't mean Amazon Prime. I mean, you can get it on Amazon. Oh, yeah. Like that. 
But <clears throat> so it's it's nasty stuff. It's like it, torture. And, oh, oh. Well, okay. You see a way more gore than you would in a, a bloody. Agatha Christie. Evil, even an Evil Dead movie, you'd see way more gore than an Agatha Christie. Or, an Agatha, Agatha or Christie let's say a Miss Marple. Oh, who's that really famous horror author? What's his name? Really James famous. Herbert. No, it's like The Shining. Sure, is it The Shining? Is it? No, not The Shining. Stephen King. Yeah, Stephen King. Way worse than Stephen King. Nasty shit. Okay. So he's he's lost this package. So over the course of the two days we were away, he's emailing the guy, where's my pack of books? It was 30 quid. Um, they're wonderful sounding books. I'm, I'm sure they're very good by extreme horror fans. Everyone loves extreme horror, don't we? You love it. Amazing. Um, <laughs> That's a no. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, he's worrying about it. And he, he, he lost some sleep over one night, worrying where this package was. In the end, it turned out the guy had put on the wrong number. So the package did arrive. It just arrived at 66 rather than 56 <laughs> Avenue. So the lady that lives at 66 <laughs> Avenue... It's an older lady. Oh, how old? I would say 70s Ooh. to 80s. Now, you know, you've seen Simpson, Drake. Right? Yeah. You were of Hans Molman, the yes. little, little old fella. Yeah. Hello there. Yeah. That little guy. Imagine him in a wig. <laughs> <laughs> so, not only did she receive this pack of extreme horror books, she opened them. Oh, this is getting to worse. To see what they were. Now, I've got pictures of some of the uh, images from the covers of these extreme horror books that will send me. Now, let me just say, if, horror books these days probably have tasteful pictures on. There might be a picture of a, a little rat or a, or a little girl staring pensively into the distance. Or a cabin of some Maybe sort. Maybe a cabin. A mystery woods. Maybe, a, yeah, a mystery woods. A cabbage with oh, eyes. Mystery, a cabbage with eys, that is Maybe. very scary. Maybe a, maybe a terrifying cabbage with eyes. But I'm going to show you some of the pictures that were on the covers of Will's books, and I'd like you to describe what you see. And I'm, we're going to be brief, obviously. Okay. But the first one is called Jack's Magic Beans. Now, what do you imagine Jack's... Magic beans. This is by a guy called Brian Keane, I, and he's very keen on his beans. I'm now, gonna, I've got an image of a, of a beanstalk. Yeah, that, that is not a beanstalk. Well, that's, that's not that's a beanstalk. Not, not bean related. That is not a beanstalk, and that is just a face that's been ripped off somebody, and basically put on a baking tray and yep. covered in cling film. Yep, with a some with, uh, like a ticket oh, that you can purchase. You and can it looks like buy that. it's stretched out and pinned down, maybe. Yeah. So the old lady saw that. So that's sh- horrible. That's a, her words were, I don't think this package was for me. <laughs> um, the next one is my particular favourite. It's a, it's called An Occurrence in Crazy Bear Valley. Now these, again, it's Brian Keane. The man is a machine. Um, <clears throat> these bears are particularly crazy because they look like uh, Kyle Gass from Tenacious D with hair. Oh my That's God. That's a bear, right? That, the hell he's mutilating that? someone. That's yeah. like this big bear, whatever he is. Is, it, is he cuddling them or is he... The he's board, the he's ripping board, the head off his nose. Right? <clears throat> that's, that's a mix between KG, a gremlin, and a gorilla. Yep. And he's eating a human. Bear in mind this human... Someone is didn't the, get the assignment. The human is quite small. He's quite, oh, no, I actually... Th- yeah, I think that, the, whatever this oh, creature is, is it's massive. There's a dead human there as oh, well. Yeah, yep, yep. So we, you can see, the, you can see the spine, you can see the rib. That's... Awful, that's horrendous. Yep, yeah, this package that's, wasn't that's for me. That's not for an old lady's view in real Not really. Um, we'll just do one more. Uh, this one is called Depraved. Now, it, it, it's not pleasant to look at. There's a guy lying on a table, and let me tell you, he's not having a fun time. So, <clears throat> would you like to describe what uh, is happening to the yeah, he's, uh, titular he's character? He's having his legs ch- chopped off with a chainsaw. Yep. His arm's already gone. His other arm's gone. He's, he's going to he's, he's going to turn into a bust, isn't he? He's having a bad he's day. Making, he's turning into a bust. He's just having a bad day. It looks more of a rotting corpse, if anything. It does. It, does, it, does, it looks like he's been there a while. At this point. I want to say in this... Blood squirt out of his arm. As mm. much as these images are it's fucking dirty. horrible, the art... Shouldn't be seen by an old woman? The no. art is rather unique. It, it, it's, yeah, it's something. Yeah. It's something. So he eventually, he's got his books and he's happy, but the woman now... Is it a home? Is... <laughs> <laughs> An immental institution. He's a gibbering wreck. <laughs> but he, the problem is, he went to the... Because he's been to her door looking for his package and she's on, like, video call. So he's got... There's, there's images of my friend Will on her 
camera and a door, and he wanted to, nothing, because my wife, the current Mrs. Harper, picked up the packages, so he thought, I've got to wait clean here. She'll never know who I am. She'll never know what neighbour I am. Now he's on the doorstop, camera, <laughs> looking for his books. So anytime he sees her, he's got to look. She's going to think, there's that there's freak. That freak, that weirdo, <laughs> freaky that boss. lunatic evil. who watches Piece evil bears shit. and people being ripped in half. So yeah. that's my news. Well, <laughs> before well. before we finish the hot news, bear in mind, that is very good hot news. news. Uh, uh, I also have an addendum from last week, folks. Oh, um, oh. A what? You see some an big addendum. words. And then that, what's an addendum? It's an extra bit. An extra Ooh. bit. Because I... Uh, we were just talking about supernatural down. crap. What? Yep. Addendum? Addendum. Addendum. I'll use that tomorrow at work. What are you going to say? I don't know. I've got, an <laughs> I've got an addendum to when I fell over. I've hurt my elbow. Yeah, yeah. I've also hurt my dick. And your addendum <laughs> job is driving to Liverpool? Yeah. So what was it you, next? The next thing? The, what? What was it? What was it then? No, again? it's an extra bit. The next it's bit. An extra bit. It, an extra bit. Carry on, carry on. I remember I was telling you about the... Uh, we went to see... Me and the current Mrs Harper yeah. went to see a priest. Yeah. Uh, when we were going to get married and she listened to this podcast yesterday and she said that's not entirely what happened oh she said this priest because I said he'd done these courses and he'd seen all these videos and it was really scary and it was just like Evil Dead uh, it wasn't like crazy Bear Valley thank God because that would have been even worse <laughs> uh, <clears throat> all the Liverpool game because that would have been even worse even what's worse um, she said that no he, he'd done that yes he'd done that but he'd also been on the, like a ride alongs to you know where the like the police take people along, oh yeah, in a car uh, when they're training them. He'd been on like he'd been to see these exorcisms, and he'd said he'd seen these people like flying up walls and fuck off. Uh, honestly, no, I'm not even joking. So it happens, mate. Oh, I just unless thought... he was lying. Why would he lie? Yeah, why would you lie? You He's a preacher. He had a big hat on and a little little white collar. He didn't have a hat. But there you go. So that was my addendum to last week's story, and I'd completely forgotten it because it was 30 years ago. I thought you were only 20-odd. Wow. Uh, it was <laughs> 10. This should be called look, look, fake fine. news, the hot news. <laughs> look, it was fucking three years ago. Fine. I've slept since then. Oh, well, that's a good <clears throat> addendum. Well, I thought, I, has addendum. anyone else got any hot, 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 hot Yes, news? we do. So on our, on our massively uh, Oh, famous... yeah, that was hot news is our new... Um, oh, yeah. Book. We forgot to mention we're moving up in the world. The budget we've we've had to damage it. We've, hot news uh, in our hot news. We've had to uh, stick our hands in our pockets. We've got a damn oh, I did, I did. steal. I stole, I stole, I stole, I stole, I stole from work. <laughs> but we in a in our in, in, in our in the stable we have a whiteboard. A massive a, whiteboard. A yeah. massive fuck off whiteboard with loads of different colours. This is a very colourful whiteboard if I can add. It is now. And I'm looking at the it's whiteboard. It's been craning all over it. Um, have I got pink? Uh, it pink. matches your eyes. Um, Fine. We have a question. Oh off. crap, you have. We'll yeah, do we have, have a question, question sent in. Yeah, so on the Facebook page we said uh, if any of our hundreds of thousands of listeners say uh, if you have any questions, please add them. And we have had a question. So this week's question has come from someone called Charlotte Harper, if anyone knows who that is. No idea. Um, so, uh, some freak. Some weirdo. Yeah, some toe-looking person. Fucking so rag. Um, so the question is this week, if you could commit any crime and it would never happen again, what would that crime be? Okay. Okay. So has anyone had any thoughts on this? So I have one that really annoys me. Go on. People not picking their dog shit up. That's a number one crime. That is a, one of the worst things anyone could do ever. If Hang on, right, so... If you could commit any crime and it would never happen again yeah. and you want to stop someone not picking up dog shit... Yes. You don't want to rob Fort Knox... No, no. Or, like, no. steal a big no. yacht... Because there's been fucking... times where I've got a brand new pair oh. of shoes and some knobhead has left dog shit on the road. So what I'll do is I'll take the dog out I'll let the dog shit on the road or the path and leave it there and then the day after you stand there'll be no there'll be no more dog shit on the road if I was a genie granting you that wish I would literally kick you in the nuts that, no that yeah. would be my number one wish I would just make your nuts disappear completely oh would you just be a smooth patch yeah be like a smooth criminal <laughs> it, 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 I, I, I can't fucking st- oh, oh apart from that maybe uh, lie in court that, that, about, about what well, well, you know when people go, oh, I didn't murder Steve. <laughs> Who's Steve? Steve? I don't know, but you did murder Steve. 
Well, that's the line. Why are you that's, Steve? The, that's Steve? the that's the crime you've committed. No, you can't so, have two answers. You, no, so apart from shit. that, I'll, I'll draw. Out of the two of those things, the dog shit is more serious in my opinion. It's not. By the way, murdering Steve's pretty down serious. Rich, have you got an idea what crime you'd commit? Yeah, I think I would commit the crime of. I'd make my way to Asda, the local Asda, the Asda as we We are really it. going down over this crimes, aren't we? I mean, we is. are small fucking potatoes we here, are. mate. We Come are, on. in a big world. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we, I would steal right. a trolley. Wow. No, 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 no. Wow. Whoa. 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 And I'd dump it on the grass verge outside my house. <laughs> oh, this is the gate story That's, again, isn't it? Dude, it's, it's, You've it's got the a same, it's, I've got, yeah, it's the same sort of ballpark, isn't it? Is that, yeah. Does and then, that ruin your morning? Oh, yeah. You wake up in the morning, ready for work, go, oh, I'm going to um, get a nice cup of tea, ready for work, have me a lovely breakfast, open your door, and there's a trolley. It's, it's, a, it's always upside down, with the wheels in the air. It's usually upside down, yeah. With the ones that wonky wheel that yeah. goes fluff, 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 when you're walking around, has it? Yeah, right. That is a true that, crime. That is always opposite my house. Well, your house as well. Yeah, and then if I then it doesn't occur to me to get angry about it well, or like wish a genie it just would drags fix the it. area down, doesn't it? Oh yeah, you know it drags the area drags down. You. Who the, who Have the... you seen where we live? <laughs> <laughs> we would have you people? locked outside your door. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, there's yes, fucking trolleys yeah. everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Pete, crime. Get out of those trolleys. Have anything like bloody I don't know. First thing comes to casino. Empty casino. Yeah. So you're just all about the money. You're not about. You're not like Rich. You want to. Me and Rich want to clean up our streets. We want to help our community. And you, you well, want to go. Neighbors. Yeah, we've got. Yeah, and you want to rob a casino. Row. Rob a casino. You want I'm to. Not going to row it, mate. I want to rob it. I want to get all the money out of it. That's, that's such a selfish. Account, that's such a selfish crime. Fuck off and never do this again. Right. Um, that's the end of the news section. <laughs> <laughs> that was certainly some hot news. Was... It was hot news. The next section is, of course, the subject of the week, the bit that we call the subject of the week. What do we call it? <laughs> the main topic. The main topic. The main topic, yeah. Yeah, that one. Yep. Bye. And what is it? But it's the subject of the week. Subject of the week, and it's gig, gigs. Gigs, gigs not Ryan Gigs. Gigs. Not, not Ryan Gigs. It's not Ryan Gigs. It's football. It's He's an amazing football. poet. There's a story there. Yeah. Yep. And he didn't know it. <laughs> he didn't fucking know it. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, gigs and festivals. Yeah. That's what we're doing. Main topic. It's the main fucking topic, folks. Hi, welcome to the uh, main topic section of the Three Wise Men Couldn't Make It podcast. We call it the main topic, and the main topic in this section is gigs and festivals. So, I've been to a lot. I've I'm 25, and uh, I've been going to festivals since about. 90, oh, blimey, 1986. So it's been quite a long time. <laughs> Maybe 88, actually. No, it was 88. No, I'm lying to you, folks. I'm lying to you. It was 88. And it was Monsters of Rock. And the headline was The Mighty Iron Maiden. So I've got a lot of stories. Um, little Carl here, he's been to uh, half a, He's been to the Wiggles. He's got a lot of stories. And Rich, uh, Rich has dabbled in this area. He's put a little toe in. I so, went to the Radio One Roadshow in 1980. What? Hang on. What? Actually, actually, back up the here, Radio Rich. One Roadshow came to me. It came to it came your to, house. No, no, no. We'd gone. Well, we'd gone on holiday down to Newquay uh, on the South Coast. Mike Reed came to your house. No, it was Philip Schofield. The, the scope. Oh, I love the scope. Oh, we were, we were it just, was inadvisable. Yeah, we're pissing about in the water. Yeah. Went for a picnic. There's four lads. Four of us had gone down there. Next minute. They're setting up because we'd gone down earlier. Yeah. They're all setting up this. And we're like, what, what's going on here? It's a Radio One Roadshow. Did and he have got... his little rabbit with him? Or I can't was. remember. Yet. I, I think Timmy Mallet was there. Oof. Timmy Mallet. We were sitting because <laughs> we were there <laughs> early. We got front row seats. We were in. The, we were sitting on the floor. Yeah. And we're literally four meters away from Philip Who, Schofield. Who's playing? And Hang on, Timmy Mallet. You've yeah. been front row for the scope. That's better than any front row I've ever been. Yeah, I mean, and I've been, yeah. I've had front row to whoever, Ghost, the Metallica. Bands, I can't remember the bands that were on, but there was bands what on. What year was this, Rich? It's, going, it's going to be around eighty-seven because I could drive. Because so it's drove, like going to be like bloody Kajagoo and yeah, all that kind yeah. of noise, isn't it? I mean, a couple of my friends Nick will Kershaw. probably remember. Oh, I would have remembered Nick Kershaw because I love him. He is, he is good. I do love Nick Kershaw. But, yeah, but, yeah, it was 
It was brilliant. You really have been it. to a bloody so, festival. There then. you go. Just that just popped into me. You met the to, you met the scope and Timmy Mallet. And Timmy Mallet. On did the same he have day. his mallet? He did have his mallet. Amazing. In, and he sung Inky. In, what was it? Pinky polka dot bikini. In, oh, uh, he sung itsy that. bitsy tinny weeny bloody polka dot bikini. He sung that right in front of us. That is that is a flex, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, yeah. There's me. Oh, I've been to loads of festivals, but uh, you know, I, I've got so many stories. Then Rich comes in. I've met the Skyrim in hot with. I've <laughs> met fucking totally unexpected. I've met it's just Timmy pop. Mallet. I've done Timmy Mallet and his, and his Mallet and the Gopher was there as well. I think and it, the little was, Gopher, was it, was Gordon the Gopher. The gopher? I, remember, I think I'm maybe making that up. But yeah, it was fun. It was good. I enjoyed it. Really, really enjoyed it. Well. Okay, folks, that's the end of the episode. So, <laughs> so we're going to wrap that up now. We're going to wrap that up. We've got nothing to say here, folks. <laughs> so, yeah. Continue. Dead silence. So, Dead air. So, so Come on, uh, Rich. Jesus Christ. Come on, Carl. What so, have you got? So I'm going to start. So my, the my, Wiggles was your first one. So, so my, first, uh, my first gig was Anthrax, which is a pretty strong one to start with, I think. Was it? That, yeah, I'm sure it was. Sure, Anthrax was my first ever gig. Oh, that's a strong start. I'm sure it was. That was great. Loved it. It's the first time I've really listened to any live music, and I loved it. I knew a few songs, but I, but the lights and the fucking boom, 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 boom. Loved it, man. Yep. Loved it. Um, but I've been to three festivals. So the first one was Leeds Festival. Uh, second was uh, uh, Slam Dunk Festival. Oh, I've got a good idea. And uh, Why don't you recite every band you saw at ever. each festival? Oh right, so and tell uh, us what you thought of each one. Okay, so in great third, detail. So the first, uh, <laughs> shut up. And then my third was download. Um, so this week uh, we normally have long-winded stories, but this week we're going to dabble in a few little things, aren't we? Yep. We're going to say a few short little quick-fire stories. So I'm going to start with. Download. I mean, I got fuck all compared to Rich, but, but we've beat the scope. You can't yeah, beat that. No. Can't beat that so I'm going. I'm going. I'm going to jump in. I'm going to jump in. Go to download. Yep. I think that's my favourite festival ever been to. And a lot of shit happened. The friendliest festival. Oh, I love it, man. There's so many nice... I met so many nice people. I've not met a bad guy at Download. Um, talking about uh, meeting nice people, this just popped in my head now. Uh, I remember I was uh, watching Metallica, I was in the front row, and uh, I could... And I you could, weren't dead. And I weren't dead, but I could, I could see. But where we were, the crowd wasn't really very like rowdy or lively. Kind of people just kind of standing there dancing, and there wasn't any massive mosh pits where I was. But there was a few lads giving it large, and I was like, "Oh, mate, give me, get me involved, get me in that." So, uh, started pushing them can, around. Can I interject like there? Actually, yeah? I, I just want to give some festival advice. Um, mosh pit, yeah, is a big area where you all push each other over. Yeah, this is for you, Rich. Uh, yeah. I'm sure this happened at Timmy Mallet. It was, it was, it was an absolute chaos, absolute carnage, mate. Chaos, carnage. Um, and a circle pit is where you all round, run round, and guess what? You leave a big crop circle in the middle of Correct. the field, and then Colin Andrews is all over it and says it's UFOs and aliens. Who? Sorry. Oh, he's, he's a yep. crop circle <laughs> investigator. What he was. So, so <laughs> I was a totally random bit of information which I thoroughly enjoyed. Right. So, okay. So, so there's so, two types of pits. Yeah. yeah. So, so the few lads were kind of like pushing each other around, like, and they must have just been friends. And I was with Danny, so my cousin, and I was like, I'm getting involved in Danny's. Like, yeah, yeah. Bear in mind. So he was with you and you didn't stay over. You didn't camp, did you? So Danny, no, we did not. Yeah, we were, Danny brought we his rucksack to buy, like you know, like merch and stuff like that. But he wanted to keep it on himself. Obviously, he didn't want to get and lose it, was it. Full of drugs. <laughs> and um, it wasn't. Uh, and uh, I was like, I'm joining. So he said, Yeah, it's fine. So I started pushing them around. I'm not laugh. And the song One came on, and I fucking love that song One. Dum, 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 dum. Love it. And um, so I said to this lad, right, this is what we're going to do. He went, what we do? So you're going to get on my shoulders and you're going right. to, and then I'm yeah. going to get on yours. You know, just so I have an excuse where I can get on some shoulders and have a little look. Yeah. So like, sure he, he, yeah, he, well, luckily, he used the exact same height as me, so it was all right. So he's on my shoulders, he's having it's a dance. Like, and stuff like Lord like. of the Rings, this. <laughs> and, uh, two little halflings. <laughs> <laughs> he's having a dance on my shoulders. Hey, buddy, why don't we get on each other's shoulders? We'll make a real man. <laughs> <laughs> Put a Mac on and we could be one person. Sorry, carry on. Are you, are you gonna make me cry? You wanna make me cry? You wanna, you wanna... To carry um, on, so he's on my shoulders, on. he's dancing, yes. and Wonderful. I go, Yep, yeah, right, my turn. So I'm on his shoulders, and I, I, 
I do like to record little bits of gigs. I don't, I don't want to be the guy that constantly stands there with his phone out recording. That's That's but annoying. it's okay now and then. You know, a few little snippets. Yeah. So I just wanted to get the intro of one, which I, I just absolutely love. So the bit it started singing and it started to kick a little bit. So uh, you know, he goes, "Oh, we're at that yeah, bit." Yeah, when so it that, starts yeah, really kicking. Yeah, in, so yeah. that started singing. And as soon as, oh God, help me, that bit, yeah. I'm recording, and this guy drops me, he falls over, <laughs> but I've got a video of my phone, and you just see... Oh, I've my, seen it! Yeah, 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 and you just see this video of my phone, just me falling from a great height, <laughs> and just slamming straight into the floor. Oh, I didn't, I, I haven't got that. That hurts. Oh, it hurt. But I, that, that just put me out, so the... So uh, did you swap after that? Oh, no, I, he went on my shoulders first, right. and I went on second. Wow. And the rest of the gig was amazing. Uh, Neve's dad... Near my girlfriend Pete, who will be coming on the podcast. Yes, he, he caught a pick, actually. didn't he? Oh, Kirk yeah, Hammett. he caught. A, yeah, yeah, he, he did, was. Yeah. Front I've row. never known anyone yeah, who's caught. He a, was a front a row, and Kirk guys, Hammett so. threw a pick in the crowd. And yeah. uh, the first night, um, he missed People out. People fight for those yeah. things. So um, what happened was the first night, uh, he, he he threw a few out into the crowd, and he put his hand up and he tried to catch one, and he, and he caught one. Well, but what, he, what are we catching but, here? A uh, pick, guitar pick. Guitar pick. They throw drumsticks. A plectrum. Yeah. Yeah, not basically. A pick, yeah, whatever. A vehicle pick. Um, so, uh, no, he doesn't throw a pickup truck into the ground. <laughs> He's not the fucking Hulk. Um, so the, fir- the first night, he, uh, he <laughs> the first night, uh, he, he, he gets That's one of his hands. That's a terrible gig. Yeah. That's oh a God. lot of doubt there. The, the first night, yeah, he catches one, but he drops it, so he goes to uh, pick it up, and some other guy picks up uh, and he's fuming. Picked up like, the pick. Yeah, pick. Yeah, and, up and the then the pick. second night when people he performed, from it, he. Uh, he threw on the crown and he caught his hand and he pushed it against his chest and he was like, oh, please, I pray. Was so it he, like was you in the shower? shower? <laughs> like me in the shower, yeah, like me in the shower on my, che- on my hands and my shoulders. It, and, he, huh? and, he, and he slowly looked down in his chest and, it and there, there it was, it was there it was, it was there. this little yellow pick and he went, Aah! Saying, I and now it's, now it's uh, we we bought the uh, the live CDs for Metallica that night and now it's sat with them and it's a that's cool cool thing. But uh, um, anyway, part of dressing that the, we won the nights uh, we decided to do fancy dress, didn't we, Pete? Yep. So well, uh, yep, uh, yep, you yep. dressed as no surprise uh, Ash from the Evil Dead movies, which are, you're a fan of them. Uh, films, yeah, aren't I you? quite like them. Yeah, and then uh, I've got a pass and interest. Uh, your son Jay, he was uh, a Ghostbuster. He was a Ghostbuster. Uh, Danny was Shaggy. Yes, which was wonderful walking through town uh, to get to the bus, stone cold sober in the middle of the day through the <laughs> Leeds town centre. And uh, I was dressed as uh, Kickass. If anyone's seen the film Kickass, it's uh, the yeah. shittest superhero in the world. He isn't even a superhero. It's just a, it's a good film though. But I love yeah, it. Yeah. But uh, I got, a, I did get a lot. We, we got a lot of traction that day, mm. didn't we? Um, we got a lot of. Fo- it felt weird because we had loads of people asking for photos. It felt you like a celebrity. Get so many photos. I know. Yeah. Um, but that day, a lot of stuff because um, you guys didn't um, stay on site. But I did with other Pete, Neve's dad, and he didn't do fancy dress. He's not a big fan of it, which is fair enough. Um, so as we're walking to the arena, I, I, the moment he did I get go in, out with his pants off though, he he, he was naked oh, yeah, from the waist Yeah, down, he so. was um, he was running around starballing naked. Yeah. Um, so I get into the arena and straight away someone goes kick ass, kick ass. So I was like, oh fine, I'll go over. So I went over to this guy and we were talking. Bear in mind, we had a for the first like twenty seconds, it was a dead serious conversation about the summit, yeah. and I just completely forgot I was dressed in a bright yellow costume <laughs> bodysuit, and uh, he went. Come here, mate. He went, get nice and close. He went, do you want a bit of spice? I went, what? He went, do you want a bit of spice? Spice is a drug. It, yeah, well, that's what I thought. I went, oh, I'm a good boy. I don't touch any of that. He went, no, not the drug, you fucking idiots. He went, spicy stuff. Do you like spicy stuff? I went, oh, uh, yeah, it's all right. He went, yeah, there's a jar of cinnamon. <laughs> he went, come yeah. here. I've got something. I went, okay. <laughs> and he, and he, you know where, you know when <laughs> you go. some garam masala. And you know when you go to this. Get it uh, down, yeah. You know when you go to a hotel room and you get those little bottles of shampoo? Yeah. He put some really spicy rum into one of those tubes. I know someone who does that. And it's um, related to me. And uh, he went, try we this. So we went. So he's like, have a sip of that. So I tried the spicy rum, and bear in mind it was already like thirty-two degrees that day. It blew my fucking head off. I was like, <laughs> it was horrible. I had to run to a food vendor and drink loads of water. And it was fucking horrible. It was horrible. extremely horrible. It, it was and was it was hilarious. A food vendor. Um, <laughs> But uh, during this, <laughs> I had to run to a food vendor for a drink. Yeah, so uh, the, the, the water points are dead hard to, yeah. so, or not hard to get to. But they actually run out. Uh, they run out of water that day, didn't they? Yeah, they had to it was get so trucks in. Fucking hot. Um, so in the same, so as I said, there'd be little mini stories. Another thing that happened. Um, 
as we're waiting for a show. Uh, there's a guy that's been going since Monsters of Rock. He's been going for donkey's years. And I went, so as we were waiting... He's 25. Yeah, like yourself. Yeah. And we started chatting, as you do, to just random people down, runs, which is one of my favourite things. He runs a food vendor. Yeah. He's a food vendor? He's a food vendor. And I went, oh, come on, mate, you've got to have some crazy stories. He went, oh, I've got a few. Went, Go on, fire them away. So we went, I remember one time uh, I was going for a beer, and festival. if anyone's been to a festival, festival beers are expensive. They're like Six pounds, six pounds, p Yeah, six pounds, seven pound a beer. And uh, he met this random guy. He went, oh, do you want a beer? And obviously you're going to go, yes. <laughs> so he lifted his T-shirt up and he had a beer. In but it was in a colostomy bag. Then, like, like no, you do. thank you. And yeah, the, I think you skipped that one, yeah. And this guy... He snuck that through, though. Yeah, and this guy started drinking beer through the uh, tube of the colostomy bag. What a waste of... Like, okay, the logistics here are doing my note in. So if you, you snuck a colostomy bag in... Yeah. You don't fill it with fucking Heineken, <laughs> do you? You fill it with shit. You fill it with... No. Fill it with you fill it with, like, with, with proper, proper good with, shit, yeah. man. Like Jack Daniels oh, or something. Oh, something yeah. straight. Oh, like, yeah, that you're pissed. Yeah. No, oh, yeah, I've big. got a whole pile of skull in here. <laughs> <laughs> um, Drink that, it'll take you two take seconds. It's a total yeah, waste of time. Tits. I was like, that's... Two percent. I'm not just, that just... That was the last thing I think anyone would say to me. And he went, oh, I'll drink sh- my colostomy bag. Yeah. This will be for tea. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then... Uh, hey, hey, mate, do you like a... Uh, do you like a cappuccino? <laughs> <laughs> do you want a hot chocolate? I've got a colostomy bag fucking full of it. Um, I was like, uh, he went, oh, I'm, I'm all right, mate. He was like, another, I, I remember yeah. another year, um, the one year they decided to do a big zip line over the crowd. Um, and uh, during one of the sets, uh, a guy went on the zip line and he got stuck halfway. I think I know this story. He got stuck halfway. And uh, for the first two minutes, everyone's going, hey, uh, hey, uh, he's stuck in it. with shit, right? Yeah, uh, yeah. Well, five minutes later, people are pissing in cups and launching yep. them at this guy. And apparently this guy was up here for a fair while. He must have been up there for about half an hour, 40 minutes. Yeah. And by the time he got him down, he was drenched yeah. head to toe with piss. People are horrible. Oh, yeah. fuck it. Yeah, they are. But Somebody even threw a colostomy bag at him full of tea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sobered him right up. It's uh, awful. It's the worst thing that could have happened so to him. Because he anyway needed went. to be pissed because he was covered in piss. And he was hanging um, from a fucking... He was hanging from a wire by uh, his dick, probably. Another, another thing that happened that day, as I said, it'd be little mini stories. Um, I don't know about you, Pete, yes. but I find it quite difficult to get pissed at a festival. The only reason why... Not really. No, the only reason why, because... It, a, I've got a colostomy bag <laughs> full of fucking skull, mate. I'm fine. Uh, a, it I takes forever... Shout that. It takes forever to get in the queues yeah, for drinks. Yeah, it is. Yeah, B, yeah. the majority it's of the time... It's not about that, though. Majority, no. Majority of the time, you're watching people sing and stuff like that. So you haven't... The a lot time, of time spent food, looking for a food vendor as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah yep, yep. And by the time you do get pissed is when you... Obviously, you're camping thing. And um, I... You want, camp, then? Yeah, I... So, no, your camping thing. Oh, you camp, yeah. So one more, like this morning, I was fuck like, me. drop, fuck it, I'm going to get levered, I'm going to get pissed. So I started, like in the morning, I have a little tactic I do, which I started at Leeds. Go on, what's your little tactic, My Carl? pro tip for this, this is why... It's not This is a pro, tip, pro This is a Carry pro on, tip, what please, you do? Carl, yes. So you know those American red cups you get? No, no. Well, fuck off, you, you go to a house party in America and you have the famous red cups. No. No. Are you shitting me? No. No. Was have you ever watched any film based in America where they have yeah, like, house yeah. parties? Have you ever seen American no. Pie? No. No. Oh, fuck off. You're not pulling me like here. No. Is it about a pie? No, right, right. Basically, you I know get, what it's about. You get well, two, I've never watched it. Right, you get two plastic cups. What pie what? is it? Oh, apple pie. That, that's got nothing oh, to do lovely. with what I'm I love apple pie. So, what you do is you get two plastic cups. And you, Warm apple. <laughs> you fill one up with... <laughs> yes, Carl, we know. Right, yeah. I was like, come on. Just cut to the chase. There's a red cup. So, what you do is... What are you doing with the pies? Well, there's no pie in this scenario. You said there was a pie. No, like, a, oh, fuck off. So, <laughs> what you do is, you get your plastic cup and you fill that with, with lemonade, for example, and then the other cup, yeah. you, you fill it with, I don't know, vodka, straight vodka. Or right. So, you've got equal parts. Right. And what you do is, you take one sip out of your vodka, then you have a sip of lemonade, and you sip your vodka, and you sip your lemonade, and you, you just keep doing that, and it gets you pissed really quick. That's a top tip from me, by the Why way. Why don't you just mix them up? Because it takes too long. No, it doesn't. It does. You get a big cup and you put both in the one cup. Yeah, but, you, but you end up needing a piss quicker. Why don't you just fuck the lemonade off? Maybe you don't. You're yeah. drinking the same amount of liquid. Well, no, you're not. If you have a, if you have one cup, yeah, let's say you put like a triple vodka in and you fill the lemonade, that you to get the same volume of alcohol, you'd have to drink loads of cups 
But if you have two cups, you could have one sitting what on are and you mix. Talking about? So right, I've, no. right, listeners, <laughs> right, these two are no, fucking idiots. No, hang on, no, no, no. You've got so, one cup of lemonade and you've got one cup of vodka. Yes. So you pour both of them into the same cup, and it that makes you piss more. Than having him in two cups. Oh, no, no. Despite the fact that it's the same fucking volume of liquid <laughs> no. that's going into your body. No, sorry, I'm right, okay. What I'm are you talking I about? I misunderstood you. I thought you meant, well, why don't you, you, you just get one cup and put a shit ton of vodka? I didn't say food? that. No, that's what I thought. That's what I got confused. Fuck me. This so, is a terrible tip. Go on. Uh, this is a good tip, anyway. Yeah, it's so awesome. I did that anyway, and I got really drunk. So I walked to the arena, and I watched a band called Ginger. Oh, I've heard of ginger. I don't. Re- I'm not I've, a fan of ginger. I've got videos fine, on my. I've got yeah. videos on my phone watching ginger, but I do not remember. And then I, after that show, I met up with you and I to watch Skindred. Yes. So we walked over. Danny and Jay were there, and Skindred. It was an, oh, another forty minutes until they're on. So Danny and Jay, Great they, band, they, they, yeah. they, they, oh, we love Skindred. They fucked off to get some food. So it was just me and you, Pete, weren't it? Mm-hmm. And you went, oh, I'm gonna just knit for a week. Bear in mind, if you're at a festival, oh, festival. If you go for a piss, a festival, a festival. A f- if you go to a festival, it's it takes forever oh, to now, go for a piss. Let me let me correct you here. What? You fell asleep before that. Well, well, no, well, well, okay, well, I did fall asleep. Well, that's what's getting to. Either you, when you come back to me, did you go for a piss then? No, you went for a piss didn't you? and I passed when off. When I came, what? Are you... <sighs> anyway, it doesn't matter. Anyway, the I was point on this is, field. it's a dreadful tip. Like. Rich, have you got any fucking festival stories better than this? Oh, fuck off. That's a tip. If you get coffee, you you drink, you you get coffee and you put your coffee in one cup, yeah? Yeah. And you put the sugar in in another cup. Yep. You take a swig of the coffee and you lick a little bit of the sugar. Absolutely sane. Yeah. Yeah. That's the way to do it, folks. Yeah, that's how you do it. That's a pro coffee. Pro tip, (laughs) folks. Oh, fuck off. (laughs) Anyway, this story, the only reason why I said this story is I remember. Passing out when it was dead quiet. Yeah, and I w- you I, fell asleep on me. Yeah, I fell asleep, passed out on the field, and then I woke up to people, like tens of thousands of people walking over and you scared the shit, don't you? Yeah, I needed a wee. Yeah. That just left you. Yeah, you just abandoned me. <laughs> it's literally abandoned you yeah, in the field. left me sleeping. <coughs> yeah, out. well, that's what happens when you drink too much ale. Two cups of ale at the same time <laughs> in a weird combination. With a hint of lemonade. Fucking hell, fire. That's not a tip, that. Oh, fuck That's off. It, it works for me. Man. It works for me, so you can piss off. Right, go on. Right, let's, they're my few stories. Dreadful. Uh, Rich, have you got something about nipples? I've got something about... Let's say, I obviously, I'm not a gigger like you two. I've never been to a gig. I, say a gig. <laughs> fuck me. I've never been to, Sorry, Rich. I've never been to a field. Well, apologies, yes. A You've field. never been to a field? I've been, I've been to a field. There's never been thousands of people there with, and, and someone playing music. Yes. Never, never interested me. I've okay. never... It's never caught my eye. I've never thought, you know, I want to go to a gig. Oh, I've always been a big music fan no. since I, I love was a music. teenager. But I don't like live music. Mm. I just can't get me over I can't understand why, how people don't like it. I just, if it's I listen to a song. Is, I, I don't like football. I'm sure you can't get your head around that. Yeah. It's well, what no, it is, isn't it? No, no, no I don't, I'm I not like saying it. it's wrong that people don't like it. I just, when, when you finally go see something live, for me, yeah, it's I like seen, magic created in I your face. I've seen music live. Yeah. I've, I've enjoyed it. But. I like to listen to a song, and if there's bits missing, like on a Depeche Mode, where it go, it's got a little bit of a, and that's not there. A what so? You know, like a little jingle in the, a little bit of a keyboard going on, and they miss some live music. I've noticed they sometimes miss that out, don't they? Oh, they'll go. They leave. Bits right, everyone out. go. Wah! And then yeah, that, like, oh, no, that doesn't do sound that. exactly that's like the, the yeah. music that was on oh. the CD. I know what you're on you about. about. Um, it doesn't uh, sound exactly. I like this, that song to be exactly how um, I heard it. it uh, work, a band that, that's yeah, quite a band work. that's quite that's famous good. for doing that is a band called Alterbridge, yeah. and um, their biggest oh, song, Alter Bridge, yeah, yeah, their biggest song is Metalingus, and it was uh, it was a. <laughs> yeah. uh, if anyone has watched WWE, it was Edge's uh, walk-on song. It was on this day I see clearly I that one. That song. But it's their biggest song, and every time he performs it live. He doesn't sing the chorus, which yeah. is the biggest part of it, and he gets yeah. the crowd to sing it. Yeah, annoying, and right? That would piss me annoying, right off. Yeah. It, that that's ice. what you want to hear that bit, yeah. don't you? Yeah. And you go, oh, it is, it's that bit. And oh, he's not done it. Yeah, it's. I, yeah, no, that it comes yeah. out a little good, that riff. Yeah. He's yeah. not done it. It does happen now and, and then. It pisses me off. Yeah, yeah. Just go, I'll, I'll sing one, go, and you sing the other, which yeah. is fine. I'll go sit in the car. Of the chorus, though. If you're singing a chorus, do your job. Yeah. I'm paying you to see it. Yeah. He owes me I know. four quid for that. For yeah. singing that line. Well, that was my favourite song and he hasn't sung yeah. the chorus. Yeah. Come I on, John Alterbridge. So, so, yeah. Some bands never do it. Like, um, some like, do, uh, some don't. Uh, it, 
some are really good. Green Day are great at this. Um, I remember show. I was listening to Steve O's podcast, obviously not as big as this podcast, but I was listening to that, and Corey Taylor was on it, and he was saying um, a lot of people like who complain about you know stuff like that about people missing out songs. Um, not missing out songs. Oh, missing, missing out lyrics. Bits, yeah, missing out bits of it. Bits of songs. Um, he was saying like, uh, well, one thing is to definitely know people aren't lip syncing and stuff like that. Uh, a band, especially like for example, Slipknot, they do it a lot. If you if you listen to, for example, Duality or something like that on Spotify, and then you listen to it on Spotify, um, it, you, you can tell the difference because he said like on the podcast when Slipknot perform live, their songs are much quicker. Like they sing they them are faster, actually, yeah. and that's only because they're in the rhythm. Yeah, and it's not that they want to get through the set faster. It's it's like it's like you know, exciting. They're in it. Yeah, yeah, they're in it, yeah. and they're like proper focused. They're proper yeah, yeah. going for it. They so the songs are alive, and then you get all the other bands that miss out stuff. So I know what you mean. So yeah, that's that's probably fine. That I'd probably go to the little gig and take me Walkman with me. Not me Walkman. You Walkman. Take you walk. Take How you walk old are you? Yeah, take me a Walkman. I'm older than Pete. Who's twenty eight? Stick that on my head and listen to the songs myself. Uh, well, Rich is twenty five. I'm twenty five. Pete's twenty five. You are. Peter's. Oh, stop, please stop. <laughs> that was so naughty. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go through my. I'm, I, I'm not gonna go through my stories. I've got a lot of stories. Uh, I've seen a man dressed as a nun part a mosh pit. That was my friend Will. Everyone stepped down for him. They they parted like the Red Sea. Because he was dressed as a nun, he was bald. <laughs> a bald a man bald in a nun costume. I've I'd seen. Get out, I'd, I'd get out the way for that. Yeah, I've away. been hit in the head by like literal glasses of piss. Uh, back in the eighties, I've I've done a lot, but the 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 most amazing, the most impressive one, and I know two people who will refute this story, is Durton. 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 No. I had been out of the festival game for a long time. This has gone back to 2003. So I was 30, I was 20, I was 21. <laughs> and because Metallica, Metallica were on the resurge again, Linkin Park were big. They were the two headliners of, I think it was Leeds at the time. <clears throat> we decided to go we clubbed some money together and we'd, we'll go to Leeds. We went in a two-man tent. There was three of us, grown men. It wasn't great. The sleeping arrangements were not great, let me tell you that much. There was a lot of farting in that tent. But Can I ask a question? Was, can, was, please was, ask a question. Was this the time where Will forgot all of his stuff? No, that was a later one. He, okay, don't worry, we'll tell that a different it's time. It's fine, we'll, we'll tell that story. My, my friend Will... The previously mentioned horrible guy once went to tea in the park in Scotland. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> got there and realised he'd forgotten his entire bag. <laughs> <laughs> he had nothing. Yeah. He had no clothes. For how many days? Uh, it, was th- it was three days. Oh, that's, my, oh. Oh, that's horrible. <clears throat> yeah, not great. Anyway, regardless. Um, so we, we it was our first festival in years. It was very exciting. So... We all got up in the morning and we all got drunk and yeah, it was awesome. Oh, then, dead giddy. And then you were dead tired because you were drunk in the morning yeah. and it didn't work that way and it was a bit shit. But, so you you learn as you go on, don't you? Yeah. Anyway, uh, at the end of the festival, because um, it's the uh, early 2000s, no fucking rules. Uh, people are burning fucking tents down <clears throat> as we're about to leave. There's guys uh, jumping into bins and rolling down hills. There's people sticking fireworks up their arse. People are getting wanked off by Liverpool scarves. It's the whole thing <laughs> here. So, <clears throat> so me, Will and Dave end up speaking to a group of... I mean, I was in my early 30s. Um, they were in their mid-20s. And we were speaking to these kids. They must have been in their like late teens, early 20s. And they were talking. They were talking amongst themselves about this guy called Durton, right? Durton, Durton. So they're like, fucking, if Durton was here, my God, Durton. The stuff we've seen Durton do this weekend is unreal. I mean, Durton, he's been on fire. What sort of name is Durton? I don't know. Is he American? his last name? I don't know. Sounds American. They weren't American. These guys were British. Like a Johnny Knoxville type of guy. Yeah, absolutely. Johnny Knoxville. He, mental dude. 
Um, <clears throat> he's done. He's he's been swinging off shit. He's been falling down crap. He's been drinking people's piss. The whole fucking <laughs> nine yards. And then we're like that. Oh, this is gonna be amazing. This is the last night we've seen Lincoln Park. They were amazing. We've come back. We're about to go home. We're gonna see. Dirt. Let's see Dirt and fucking the get final. Him. The get final send off. Let's see Dirt and get his fuck on, mate. <laughs> Let's see it. Let's see him full on. And Dirt and turns up. He looks like an wow. average sort of early 20s guy and how many people are waiting for him to oh, turn up oh god um, well there's obviously the three of us there's me Will and Dave and um, maybe 15 other people all waiting for him all waiting from the top of the hill there's bins around so he could jump in a bin if so he this, wanted this to endless if he wanted to endless jump in a bin and burn himself endless possibilities yeah, he, could, he could strangle himself on a tent he could do whatever and he turns up dirt and walks up the hill and they go... Did people clap? Did people clap when he turned no, up? No, but the anticipa- you could feel the anticipation. Oh, in the air. It, you literally could feel it. It was like a physical thing. <laughs> and he walks up this hill. This, well, I say hill. It's not hill, isn't it? But you know what I mean. Yeah. It's a little rise. And they're like, oh, d- hey, dead, wait, dead, turn, here he is, God damn, what are you going to do, turn, 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 what are you going to do, turn, 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 here's a fucking bin here, mate, what are you going to get in that, what are you going to do, mate, get in the bin, go on, get in the bin, <laughs> and he's like that, nah, and he fucked off, <laughs> and I looked at the floor, <laughs> And I looked up at me mate Will, and he was literally crying. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, Will, my fucking heart's in my mouth, mate. I don't know what he's going to do next. <laughs> and he was like that. I, I, this guy is a little fucking live wire. <laughs> he's fucking mental. And oh, we that's... laughed about that. For the everyone just dispersed immediately. By the way, they all fucked off immediately. <laughs> like they've been waiting for like Messiah. And the Messiah arrived and he was shit. <laughs> and they all fucked off. And there was me, Will and Dave just literally crying our eyes out laughing for about 20 minutes. So the the point there, folks, we'll get to this later actually is, yeah, we'll get to it later, but don't build yourself up because oh. dirt, you'll never be dirting. <laughs> you'll never, never be as cool as him. This guy was maniac. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a great story. It just fu- literally just went, nah, I'm all right. Nah, and then I'm just not today, guys. <laughs> went went off to the noodle, noodle bar. But he went that to find him. a food vendor. Yeah, he went to, yeah. he went to find a food <laughs> vendor. He went off and he had a vulture in one hand and lemonade in the other. Oh, oh no, he's, he's not, not that crazy. crazy. He's not oh, that crazy. Okay. Rich, he's not that mad, was he? No. no. He's not going <laughs> to get himself fucked up like that. No. I just wouldn't be like dirting me. Like, what? You've, what? Like, wild. A yeah, wild crazy. Yeah. Crazy. So that was. I mean, I have so many festival stories. Um, I'm sure Carl does, and Rich has stories about uh, nipples as well. I've got a little story. Do you want to uh, go into uh, nipple talk? Let's talk nipples. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's. I'm not like a big gig goer. Yeah, <laughs> see, I'm not like a big nipple fan. <laughs> I'm not a big nipple fan myself. I dabble in. I, d- I dip my toe in. Dabble in the old yeah. nipple. But yeah, I, um, I've got two. Punk. I've got two daughters, and they're both madly in love with Harry Styles. As most like every girls other are. female like every in the world is like well, literally everyone in the world. Well, yeah, basically, yeah. So, mm-hmm. as a dad, you what do you do? Can we go and see Harry Styles? You have to say, yeah, yeah totally. You, will you come with us? Yeah, will you come in the gig? A gig, I, concert. I don't call a it a gig. gig, I call it a concert. It's a gig, it's a gig, it's a concert. Yeah. So, I, 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 I was either. like, yeah, okay. We're only going to, they thought they were going to see him once, but we'd booked, yeah, he, he was doing two nights in Edinburgh, we'd secretly booked him. Twice. Oh, you, oh, right, you watched two concerts. I didn't. Oh, they did. I, I wish I had in the end. I said, I can only, I can, I'm only going to one, yeah. and then you lock and go to the other one. I'll take you there and pick you up. That's and I wish, really cool. I wish I'd gone to both of them, yeah. to be honest, because you see the different outfits and different nipple angles and stuff like that. Mm, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, sometimes you can have, you can sometimes, have like, two cups of vodka. You could have two cups of vodka. Sometimes you see his nipples and sometimes you don't. And they wanted to see his nipples, and they seen his nipples on the second night. Yeah. I didn't. I didn't get to see his nipples. That's a unfortunately. Shame. That's a shame. Gutted, weren't you? I was gutted. But um, anyway, yeah. Um, so when you basically go into a Harry Styles concert, it is just they all have these feather boas, multicolored feather boas. Everyone's got about ten, 
And it's just... Is that a thing for Harry Styles? It's a big thing. It's, okay. Everyone's got one. The girls, the girls have got them in the, hanging off the wardrobes in the rooms. So if you can tell me you've got a wardrobe, there's feathers everywhere. Just literally everywhere you can see. Yeah, the corner is used to have a thing for feathers. Bowers, yeah. Yeah, they're every, they're walking into the concert, it's nice because it's just yeah. just feathers everywhere, and it's like you you going up into heaven or something because it's just colour everywhere, and then you're like, well, and then you look. First thing you do is look for a food vendor. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yep. So anyway, <clears throat> so uh, yeah, it was really, really good. <laughs> I, I got a bit of a, I've got a bit of a, 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 a what do you call it? Um, <laughs> a bit of a bit of a fact about Harry Styles and his nipples. <laughs> that you might not know, but he has actually got four nipples. Right. This is why okay. I'm talking about Is the this nipples. why I wanted to go see him? Hang on a minute, hang on a minute. Is... Right, you started this with, I've got a bit of a fact about Harry Styles and his, Harry yeah. Styles and his nipples. Harry Styles and his nipples, yeah. That you may not know. I mean, what what <laughs> would that, it's one's on his head? I mean, you what, would, why on would his you hand? know? Yeah, they're both on his, he's got two in a normal place. I don't right. Know, and he's got two further down his chest. Like um, proper full on. They're not proper full on. No, nips. they're not proper like big areolas. Like big, like big areola grandies. No, no, <laughs> <laughs> no. They're not. They're just basically dark patches. Is what I could see when I was having a good old scrutinise. Why were you? Did you, did you have your binocular? <laughs> How close did you get? No, he, he, he took binoculars so he could zoom goggle? in. Did you have your oh, goggle? I had my goggle. My eye goggle. <laughs> <laughs> No, zoom in. Have you picture. kicked out the Harry Styles concert for oh, yeah, forming at his nipples? <laughs> <coughs> yeah. Is this where this story's this is going, where Rich? That's where it's going. This... In fact, I Googled it and I was zooming in on the picture yeah. on the internet of his nipple and it's all grainy when you get down to that level. His oh. nipples are grainy? No, his, yeah, his nipples are grainy. He's got, gra- he's got pixelated Gross. nipples. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking weird. So yeah, he's got, he's got four nipples. That's very odd. Two regulars and two super numeri, they're called, or something. How many fingers has he got? God, I don't know. I didn't count his fingers. I wasn't looking at his fingers. He's only focused on the nipple. I was just focused yeah. on the nipple. He's probably got four He's dicks. got four nipple tassels. <laughs> <laughs> and he can make all four of them go a different direction. At the same, at the same time, time, baby. Yeah, so, yeah. Um, that's maybe, maybe that's why uh, girls are so attracted to him. Maybe so. Yeah, because you can hang off all four nipples. All four nipples, yeah. Yeah. Or like... Like a Tarzan swing. Yeah. Tarzan. Tarzan. Yeah, wait, 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 you got the, you got the... I call it Tarzan. Tarzan. It's Tarzan. It's Tarzan, isn't it? Tarzan. It's Tarzan. Who calls it Tarzan? Who calls it Tarzan? Is you, it... you weirdo. It's called, his name's Tarzan, isn't it? It's Tarzan. No, Aladdin. no. Aladdin. No, Aladdin. Yeah. No, tar- Aladdin. no, Tarzan's a better name for Tarzan. it. Tarzan. Yeah, Tarzan. Ah, oh, Tarzan. <laughs> come on, ah, Tarzan. Come on, ah, Tarzan. Let's be, have, let's be having your Tarzan. Yeah, come on. Right. <laughs> Sign for tea, Tarzan. <laughs> Get Come on, that, mate. Get off that fucking rope and get over so there. Leave that chimp alone, Tarzan. <laughs> so, so after going... So we're wrong, essentially, there, Rich. I've been taking the piss out of us. Right, move yeah. on. So, so after after seeing yes. the glorious Harry Styles... what your, his nipples. What are your thoughts on actually going to a gig or a festival? My after thought... it all's telling you some riveting stories. Yeah, of, of your wallowing round in muddy fields yeah him, him covered in piss Keep covered in piss oh people fall well, people going for a piss and people all the all the urinals flowing over so you have a swamp of a mud swamp, and piss yeah. and people falling I have, over I have um, one more little story go on and it's not nice um <clears throat> this will this will end this will your this will, make, this will either make it or make with it with make it or break it, it for you absolutely break lashing down I can't remember okay. where we were I can't even remember if it was just me and Will or me, Will and Dave. I suspect it was me and Will, but I could be wrong. Um, <clears throat> Will's always there, usually with a fucking book about bears eating <laughs> people's dicks in hand. <laughs> um, uh, some, so uh, the urinals had overflowed. It was raining the entire fucking weekend. Um, and when, so we were in the arena and we went for a wee-wee. So you're treading through mud, obviously, to get to little plastic urinals and have your little wee. Uh, but the mud is underfoot, and it's clearly just mud and piss, isn't it? Yeah. It's mud and piss. Yeah. So as we came out from our, yeah, relieving ourselves, uh, another fellow went in, and he slipped, and he fell right face first in the piss mud. mud. And he got up, and everyone didn't laugh. Everyone went, Oh. oh, there was a collective like silence. Fifty people went. Was that guy from my work there? Did he go? Oh. 
Yeah. And then he had a butty. And then, whoa, lovely. And when he slipped, he went, whoop, 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 whoop. It was the collective, like, gasp of horror and the, oh, you're going to be, you've got to sleep in that. You've got oh, nowhere to oh. go. No. I, I'm and gonna, he got up, he looked like either like black face on, it was so bad. If, if anyone, poor guy. If anyone oh. knows me, I'm a bit of a germaphobe kind of guy. I hate dirt. mud is my one of my biggest phobias. I don't know how you go spend the mud for three right? days. I, I, mud? I, 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 not a not a homophobe. You're a homophobe? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I hate hobos. Oh hobos. my god, I hate them. <laughs> but, oh, yeah, get on trains, no. fucking the yeah. oh, annoying. <laughs> Sitting in doorways. Yeah. <laughs> Doing play in the mouth organ. <laughs> the way they do that, I hate that. Asking you for it's two awful. pound. <laughs> yeah, give oh, me two bits there, two buddy. <laughs> oh, mud is my biggest nightmare. <laughs> I, I'm so bad with anything like that. I can't walk in puddles. But you can go and spend three days in a fucking field. You can't walk in puddles, covered in but you pits can... and mud and shit. Well, they're usually not muddy. Well, I've got me, if, when I go to a festival, I've got me walking boots on, so ain't too bad. But. Yeah. A normal day, I can't. I can't. You've walk been in a lucky, puddle. Carl. To be fair, you've never been to a bar. Oh uh, yeah, I've got a bit of good luck charm. I mean, been to three festivals. Hasn't rained a drop. Yeah, I've been to a lot of rainy ones. Okay, so are we happy with that subject, folks? Are yeah, we... I think we've had some good stories there. Yeah, I, I think so. Yeah, definitely. I think so. Uh, uh, we need to not drink like Carl at a festival or any. Yeah, what have we learned about? Well, we'll we'll get into that yeah. on the conclusion. Oh, the conclusion, we will. I'm jumping ahead there. He's getting so excited to hear our advice. He wants to hear the advice. He's, he's like so. a little dog snapping at your heels, yeah. isn't he? So move on. Moving on. Three wise men. Conclusion. So the conclusion. Folks, the conclusion of this evening, talking about being covered in piss, mud, and more piss. Um, so, Rich, what would you like to pass down to our listeners about your experience tonight, your thoughts what? about gigs, festivals? Do you want to go to a gig and or what? festival? What would you recommend? I mean, would you recommend taking a goggle to watch Harry's Nipples at a Harry Styles concert or... Would you recommend uh, clogging to drinks like Carl did? I would definitely recommend taking um, a, take a powerful pair of binoculars. Well, I'd say two powerful pair of binoculars mm. because it's got four nipples. So one stacked on, one top, stacked of on top of the other. One stacked on top of the other. Like a round, giant, like, like a Bugs giant, Bunny type, yeah. That yeah. kind of thing, yeah. sort of thing. Brilliant. So, yeah, I'd, I'd definitely guarantee that. I definitely Thank you would. for the cartoon device. Um, <laughs> I, I do. I was going to say, I don't do sound effects. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Otherwise, you go. <laughs> <laughs> I would definitely advise against going to a gig. By the sound of it, it sounds horrendous to me. Mm. Pissing around in a fucking field, covered in fucking mud, slip sliding everywhere. Mm, I'd be that guy. Be. You're saying about the guy who goes to the toilet. Are you, are you seeing any slip in, in, yeah, in piss yeah, mud? Yeah. That'd be me. Yeah, you'd I'd end be up that, being that one guy. I'd be that guy. I know we would abandon you, Rich, because... You, we don't, don't want to be wanna, seen with him, do I don't, No, it's not that. <laughs> I just don't yeah. want to touch you. I, <laughs> I don't want to have to hose you down. I'd that's come that's up an effort. Like, fucking Mrs. Doubtfire when she comes out of that cake. Yeah. Only with brown yeah, shit yeah, yeah. piss mud all over my face. <laughs> so well, could, it was like he was in blackface. You could <laughs> see his little white eyes. It was like, yeah. the poor guy. <laughs> yeah, that'd be me. Yeah. I don't want to... Get in a bin and go down a hill on fire, like when well, we don't. Like Denton, Rich. was it? We don't. Denton, Denton, Denton. Yeah, and he didn't either. He didn't even. Didn't we? <laughs> he didn't do anything. Yeah, I don't want to do that. I don't want to hang on a, on a fucking cable and have piss bottles of piss thrown at my head and yeah. people throwing shit at me like a monkey or something. Yeah, yeah. Um, so you'd rather enjoy I, the comfort of your own home listening yeah, to this music? Yeah, I, yeah. Because I, I, like I said. They miss out bits of music. They miss out a bit of keyboard here and a bit of a yeah, symbol there, there. A little vocal. Oh, where's that? That's yeah. ruined it for me. So, yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd um, strongly advise not going to a gig. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> and staying in the comfort Thank of your you. own home. Thank you and for that advice. And just ask Alexa to play whatever yeah. it is you want to play. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. Uh, <laughs> well, um, 
Uh, I'm Don't not going to a gig, I, by the way. I, this is about gigs and festivals. Uh, where people are going to tune in and go, Oh, I've been to a gig and a fe- I love gigs and festivals. Rich, don't go. Don't go. Don't go. Don't go. Don't go. You're don't coming go. and piss. It's awful. A fucking massive mistake. Someone's going to shit on your face. <laughs> I think my response to my conclusions about this is to open your eyes to new experiences where. You may you may sit there and go, that does not sound fun whatsoever. But when you go there, you have so much fun. And people like I've had tra- I've been times where I've, I've had to go to work and I've got that FOMO going. Now I've been to these type of stuff mm. and I get major FOMO going. Oh, I can't go to this gig. Even when you, even though you talk about bowling for soup before, I love yeah. bowling for soup and I was like, oh, I wish I could go, but I couldn't go. But I would never have thought about that if I didn't go to a gig in the first place. So they were good. For me, it's open your eyes to the opportunity and don't um and ah. There's too many people um and ah going, oh, should I go? Uh, no, nah, I'm not going to go. But do it. Try, you, some, try you go, something you new. You go and see Bowling for Soup and what I, I'll do, you do that and I will stay in my house and I'll eat, have a bowl of soup. And you'll fall asleep and, and, and imagine eating food. Um, yeah, in the comfort of my own home. All right, well, we've kind of got a challenge here, guys. Um... There's a band I dearly love called Ailstorm. They do rock, pirate metal. They're the they're the uh, pioneers of pirate metal. They are amazing. They're a, they're kind of a com- They're a comedy band. Yeah, they're kind of a comedy. They are a comedy band, and they're playing in the Lee Liverpool Academy in early March. So, I'm gonna go and watch them. I'm gonna. Carl's go gonna go and watch them. Rich. Putting him on the spot here. Putting him on the spot. I might are you do. Up for it? I might do. Have a little think about it. I'll have I a mean, think listen about to it. no, no, don't go I'll have in a there listen. blind. Listen to some Ailstorm. P A R T Y. It's pirate party time. It is pirate party. <laughs> you want to listen to that song? Fucking great song. Yeah. Mexico, another great song. Mexico is a good song. So we're not putting challenges out here, but I maybe maybe, maybe a challenge for this week could be for Rich to listen to some Ailstorm. Yeah, Ailstorm. I'll give I'll give that a go. Have a little thing. Have a little, little. I mean, you may be appalled. I may be. You may hate it, but as I said before, opening open and open opening your eyes, your horizons. Yeah, let a little man from Liverpool touch you on the wiener. And Pete, you got any conclusions? My conclusion is: this, don't drink ale like a freak. <laughs> Put it in the one can or bottle or cup. Are you or, di- or, or colostomy bag. Or colo- No. <laughs> Don't put skull in a colostomy bag. Are you directing this advice to me or the Completely listeners? Completely at you. Completely <laughs> at you. Who does that? Me. It's so fucking I weird. I do it. Take it's some food fun, with you so you haven't got to run around looking for fucking food vendors all the time. Yeah. Oh, oh I remember, I'll say this day quick. Poor, poor Pete. How uh, quick is this? Quick, poor Pete needs dad. Because the food the food vendors are massive queues. <laughs> they uh, are very expensive. Yeah, and expensive. Uh, Neve's dad, he was cooking.